You will need a small cereal box, scissors, glue or tape, and ads. Get your small cereal box. Cut off any tabs like these. As you can see, I've cut off both side tabs on my cereal box. You could spray paint it or put tape around it, but I don't have time right now, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Once you're done, put both hands on your cereal box and push until it looks something like this, and it's very flat. And then cut to your desired length. Cut as straight as possible. And it should look something like this. Move this to the side. And grab your other, bo other box. Sorry. Cut off a piece. Like so. This is where your glue comes in. I'm using a glue stick because I don't have a hot glue gun. Or liquid glue with me. So here we go. And apply glue all over the cardboard. Make a rectangular shape all around. Make sure you apply a lot of glue if you're using a glue stick. If you're using a hot glue gun, it won't need much. Stick on the cardboard. Allow it to dry. You might want to blow on it to make it a little faster. When it's dried, it might look like a table, but it's not. Cut off the excess around it. So now it looks like some sort of box. Yeah. Move that to the side and get your cardboard. Cut a piece of it. Mine has lines, so it isn't that hard to cut straight. So here it is. A magical piece of cardboard. So anyway, put your soon to be microwave down. Grab a cardboard and lay it down. Make sure that it covers the opening or it will not be a microwave. Don't glue it down yet, but leave some room on both sides. Grab a pen. Simply take the lid off. Turn this around and trace it. Take the box off and there is your mark. Don't cut it, but fold. Well, it's not perfect, but nothing's perfect. And I just realized I folded it on the wrong side. So yeah, so it could turn out like this. I got that idea, but don't glue it yet, because we're going to add a little bit of detail. Like say, you could draw on it, or cut out some ads and glue it on. I am choosing to draw it on. Oh yeah, here's a tip. Close the lid of your pen. If you haven't done so, create it for a pencil, and draw on the details. You could use a ruler to make straight lines or a piece of spare cardboard. I'm using cardboard. 
because the ruler is far away and I'm not gonna get up to. So here I go. Once you're done drawing it, fold up this side so it looks like this. And cut it out. You then apply glue to the top and bottom of the box. And apply glue to this part. And stick it in. but you might want to trace it with a pen. It should look like this now. Apply glue. Then put on your two beads. Like this. Get your toothpick and measure Mark where you want to cut. And cut where you marked. And glue it onto your beads. You could color this. But I'm choosing to leave it the way it is. Apply glue to the back, glue it on, and you have a microwave. And plus, it works. If the toothpick and beads don't work out, you could use a leftover piece of cardboard and cut it out. And glue it on like this. Whoops. Tip. Don't put it in too hard. Oh, should work. Ta-da! Oh, here it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome!